everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily, in case you're new. This video I'm so excited about, slash nervous about. We are doing the 12 hour puzzle challenge. Karen Puzzles just posted her video and I think it's so much fun. I'm totally copying her. If you haven't seen hers, I'll leave it down below. But pretty much for 12 hours, you're just straight up puzzling. I am so excited to do this. This is the first ever like tag type video that I've seen on the puzzle challenge, even though she didn't tag anybody. I'm just tagging myself. So pretty much for 12 hours, you're just straight up puzzling. You can give yourself time to like go to the bathroom, do normal human things. I am actually going to be giving myself an hour break to make dinner. So even though I'm starting my puzzle challenge at eight o'clock, I'm going until nine o'clock to make up the time that I will be making dinner with my husband and having a moment with him before getting back into puzzling for the evening. I have a whole variety of puzzles here. They are mostly 500 pieces and I do have a 300 piece which will just be a really quick, easy, breezy one in case I just need a break from the 500 ones. I feel like they're all pretty tricky and all but one are completely brand new to me. The one that I will be redoing is called Where's Bow? It's down here at the bottom and I think that's the one I'm going to start with. That one is one of my favorite puzzles. It's so much fun, so much happening and I just wanted the chance to do it again. So that's the only one that I've done before. Everything else is brand new and I will give you reviews at the end about all the different puzzles, which ones I recommend, all that fun such, but I'm just so excited for this challenge and it's gonna be a long day. I feel like my eyes will probably be the thing that is the most weary towards the end, but I have about 10 minutes before I have to start puzzling and I'm just gonna get ready and be back in a minute to get started. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> So the first puzzle up on the docket is Where is Bowie by Smith Street Gifts. It is so fun to look at. I think there's like 11 different David Bowies inside here, including Ziggy Stardust. Oh, isn't this so much fun? So I'm just chilling here in front of the microwave, waiting for the time to change. But, oh, ah, it's time! It is 9.30 and it took me exactly an hour and a half to finish my first puzzle, so I'm off to a good start. I'm getting this next one out of the way because I'm so dreading it. It's been in my to-do list for a while because I want to do a whole video about pomegranate. And so it is the pomegranate sea anemone. <laughs> it's the pomegranate sea anemones. And it looks really pretty, but it's so dark, so I'm a little nervous that this one's gonna take me forever. Let's just get started. It is 12.15 and I 
I just finished puzzle number two. This was the puzzle that I was dreading because it's so dark and I have a lot of thoughts on it, so stay tuned to the end for the review, but it was a rough one. But I still feel like I'm doing really well time-wise and we are going into, I'm not sure what I wanna do, hold on. Before I choose which puzzle, here are the boys. That's Loki and Ziggy. They're like this 90% of the time. They just got their new, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, I can't. Anyways, let's choose which puzzle. Party wants to do the second pomegranate one just cause it's super cute. Could do one of these guys. I really want to do this one already though. I want to save that one. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. This is by Remarks. It is tropical. And look how bright and vibrant. So I'm currently, I would say 60% done with this one. It's two o'clock. I'll show you my progress. I wasn't able to film anything from this puzzle just because both my camera batteries were dead. Um, I thought I one was on the charger and it wasn't so, sorry. Um, but it should be good for the next puzzle. I'm just making sure they're both charged so that way moving forward I don't run into this. Um, but I will show you my progress. It is, it is so much fun. I love the different patterns. It makes it just like little mini puzzles inside and it's so bright and colorful that moving forward. I just finished my third puzzle and I was so upset because there was a piece missing and I was like, I know it wasn't me because this time I did not even move from my spot. Sometimes it's a cat. So I dug into the trash, took out the puzzle bags and I found the piece. Do you see it in there? So this is all the stuff from last night. I'm so excited. <laughs> There we are. This one is so much fun. I had a, a good time. Right, so it is 2.40. Dave will be home in about an hour. So I'm just gonna crack open this 300 piece one just to give myself a little bit of like a breather. So this one is called Pool Cat. It looks super fun and I love how chunky the pieces are. This one I got at a thrift store recently, which I don't know which video is going out. It's either thrift haul or this one, but look how giant these puzzle pieces are. So if you want to know my current status, I feel totally fine. Like I feel like I could go for way longer. So I mean, it's only 240, but my goal is to do five puzzles. I really think I can do that, especially doing this 300 piece one. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, I'm just gonna keep chugging along. It is, I don't know if you can see it, it is six o'clock, which means I am going to take my hour break so I can make dinner. I'll show you my progress. I would say I'm like 60% done with this one. This one's tricky because it's symmetrical, so you're not sure which side of the puzzle it's going to be, plus the foil makes it a little tricky, but I'll show you where I'm at. Here is what it's looking like. It's really fun and really pretty to look at. It's just a bit tricky because as you can see, it's just like a lot of patterns and not a lot of colors. It is seven o'clock. I am going back at it. Just had some dinner, so I'm full and better. <laughs> I had a nice little break and now we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm hoping to finish this one and then by, oh, maybe I'll be able to finish a sixth. 
I don't know, but I'd be happy to finish my goal of five. minutes left of the challenge. I know I'm not going to finish this puzzle, but I'll show you my progress so far. Not even probably like, I'd say this is like a quarter of the way done. We'll probably get a few more pieces in before the end of the challenge, but I still feel really good. All right, it is nine o'clock. My 12 hour puzzle challenge is over. I feel like I look really tired. Um, in general, I could, I feel like I could do more. I think I could definitely finish this puzzle. Maybe even fish another, like there's, it's not uncommon for me to do puzzles until like 1 a.m. So to be done at 9, I feel like I have more time to do, but I think I need to call it a day. And I'm probably going to finish this puzzle in the morning and then I'll do a roundup about all the things and all my thoughts and feelings. And I had so much fun with this, so I will see you tomorrow. It is a couple days after my 12 hour puzzle challenge. I gathered some information up and I gathered my thoughts up. So I'm just gonna do a roundup of all these puzzles, reviews for them, how long it took me. I kinda do wanna count the sixth puzzle because when you added up all my times, taking away my breaks it is 11 hours and 15 minutes. So maybe that is cheating, but it only took me about 40 minutes after the nine o'clock cutoff time to finish the puzzle. I did end up staying up to finish the puzzle because it was just, it was a fun one. But we'll just dive in. I'm gonna go in the order of how I completed them and let's just get started. So the first puzzle I have here is Where's Bowie by Smith Street Gifts. I love this one. It's one of my favorites that I've owned. It's one of the few that I've actually have redone and it is so fun. Now this puzzle is super easy. It only took me an hour and a half. This one was the easiest one that I did. And it was, it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of things going for it. All the puzzle pieces are twos, so they're all the exact same shape besides the border. And the color is so vibrant. It's somewhat glossy, but not too crazy. It's just a really fun one, and they are really secure once you put them together. So I just love this one so much. I had a lot of fun with it. Moving to the puzzle that took me the longest amount of time is this one from Pomegranate, and this is Ernest Tackle's sea anemones and this one has a lot of quality issues with it so i have a love hate relationship with pomegranate puzzles first they have these beautiful thick matte giant chunky pieces which i love because when you put them in they just feel so satisfying but the issue i have especially with this one is one the puzzle pieces are so dark they don't nearly look as bright as you can see here on the image they are so dark but they're also very pixelated very muddy and it just doesn't look very nice it's almost like the ink machine needed to be replaced <laughs> like the toner was running out because it just looked faded and it was very pixelated very blurry and it just wasn't fun plus these puzzle pieces were very loose. You could not pick up more than two pieces before it fell apart. You could constantly put pieces in the wrong place and it was just kind of frustrating considering pomegranate is a more pricier brand and I really want to love them because their puzzle piece thickness is just spot on. You know, the puzzle piece quality is there but the image quality is not. So not my favorite brand but I do love their graphics and they have really interesting images 
but it just was a bust for me. But it did take two hours and 45 minutes, mostly because it was hard to find the right pieces to put together. Again, it was so dark, so grainy, and it was just a bust, unfortunately. But I did it. I finally did it. Um, this is one that I was kind of avoiding for a really long time, so I'm glad that I got it done. This one here is called Tropical, and it's by Remarks, and I loved this one. It was so bright, so colorful. The puzzle pieces were saturated with color, and I love the different patterns. It was pretty easy to put together. It took me about two hours, and I just thought this was such a fun image, so beautiful to photograph, and I just can't say good enough things about it. The puzzle piece thickness isn't the thickest, but it's definitely great quality for the price point. This one was $15 and I got it at Barnes and Noble. So it almost felt like little puzzles in a puzzle because you're just doing like each individual triangle and it was just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend this one. And then we have my 300 piece puzzle, which is Pool Cat. This only took me about 40 minutes, pretty easy. Again, pomegranate puzzle pieces are really thick and chunky and they are ex definitely exaggerated once you get the 300 piece size because they're just like giant chunky pieces, which are so fun to put together. Um, this one I did get at a thrift store so I'm not sure if it's still available and same with Where's Bowie. I've had that one for a couple years now that I got in a puzzle swap. This one here is probably the most beautiful puzzle that I did. This is the Imperial Hotel Peacock Rug by Frank Lloyd Wright by Gallison. I'm realizing Gallison is probably one of my favorite puzzle brands. They just have really decent quality pieces. Their images are really fun. The colors of this one are stunning. Each puzzle piece was gorgeous and it was just a lot of fun to put together. This one took me two hours and 30 minutes and it was, again, it was just so bright and colorful and so photographic. I posted it on my Instagram and it's just like, it's so pretty. And then this one was $14.99 and I also got it at Barnes and Noble. And then the final puzzle that I did, which I'm counting, I'm sorry if it's cheating, but I'm really not sorry because I made up my rules, um, is the Doddle Three Little Pigs. This one only took me an hour and 40 minutes. So it was a fun one, it was pretty easy. I'm not a huge fan of Doddle puzzles because I like traditional puzzle boxes. And I got this one at a thrift store as well recently. And if you missed my thrift haul, you can check it up in the cards. So after adding everything up, I did 2,800 pieces in 12 hours. I'm pretty impressed with that. My goal was to do four to five puzzles. I ended up doing kind of six. I know I'm cheating, um, but I'm still pretty proud of that number considering adding those all together. I did just over 11 hours worth of puzzling time, which equals out to be about four puzzle pieces per minute, which I think is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I'm excited to see maybe next year how much I've improved or not. I mean, it definitely depends on the puzzles. I feel like some of these were pretty challenging, but I had a lot of fun with this. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.